When I became a vegetarian, most of my teammates did it. I said, let's do this, we're doing it. We're doing it all together, and many of them did it. Some of them have kind of drifted back, but none of them are where they were before. So we've all benefited from it. Um, and funny, as an actor now, I find that people in general have better diets than athletes do, which is kind of amazing to think um, that you think athletes have the best diets. Most athletes have the worst diet in the world, and it's, they compete in spite of it. So um, it's, it's, and nowadays, the way health food stores have come up, it's, it's not like somebody that's kind of off on the side now. If you want to eat or have a healthier diet or have something um, that is different than the typical go to the grocery store, buy a big pound of meat and go home, mm -hmm. then it's, it's not unusual. So I like that. And um, I, I, I basically shop at the health food store. So um, most of my grocery shopping is there because those are the types of products I do. So for me, it was, it was easier because my teammates, I guess because I was winning and I was, I, was a, I was an older one, I said, okay, here's what we're going to do. And they said, well, let's fall in line. <laughs> but most of them did benefit from it, and they kept a similar diet. So what got you into that kind of eating? Because like, like that kind of eating is not your typical American <laughs> diet, you know? Well, it, it, well nor the athletic diet. Mm -hmm. um, what happened with me is that it, it's a funny thing. I was working on a project with another um, writer. We were writing a book. And he came down for about 10 days to, to hang out with me, so we were talking about this book. And every day we'd go to practice, and he'd watch, and he'd leave practice and come back. And I said, where were you? And so three or four days, I said, why do you always leave? He said, I was going to get something to eat. You never eat. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it made me look at myself and realize that I was just, instead of having a healthy diet, I was starving myself to keep my weight down. So it, it just coincidentally, shortly thereafter, I got into, um, started doing some research on what was the best diet where I could eat because I love to eat, but be healthy and also be athletic. And it came out to um, cutting out a lot of the meat and, of course, adding the juice and um, getting out of the dairy products and all of that. So that's what got me there. And I ended up becoming uh, all the way to a vegan for a long period of time. And I'll tell everyone this, my best performances... Um, well, when I was 30 years old and I was a vegan vegetarian, so it isn't everyone says where's your protein? Well, I ate tons of lentils, loved beans, uh, had the juice, I did the things that I needed to do to replace what you would get with this tremendous amounts of meat that most people eat. I'll add a little bit of spaghetti sauce, make it pretty. I'm going to put this in the oven and while we're over there we can take out the finished lasagna so you can see how that looks. Oh, God, I love looking at this. <laughs> this is going to be so delicious. Remember, it's the roasted vegetable lasagna. You don't need a recipe for it, which means I don't know what you're going to do when you make this and people ask you for the recipe. I think you're just going to have to tell them that you don't need one. All you have to do is roast the vegetables, mash the tofu, add that egg-free mayonnaise, layer it all together, and you've got a really fantastic masterpiece. I feel better when I have some fresh juice or if I have a garden burger or if I have a salad with tofu sprinkled on the top or something. Um, I feel a lot more energetic because it feels like my system's cleaner, it, it, it flows through, and I feel lighter.